guys so welcome back to my channel I'm sorry I didn't upload any videos uh, this past few weeks because because I was kind of busy and I didn't have time to film and excuse my bit jerawat here I don't know why it's gonna the jerawat is like supposed to be here and okay so in this video I'm gonna talk about my conclusion in 2017 I never made this kind of video because I just started YouTube, okay? But then, let me tell you something, 2017 was a rough year. Let me show you a rough year. So, I started off, uh, I, like, I turned Form 4 this year, okay? If you don't know. And then, um, uh, we have, like, there's a pembahagian class. And that time, like, my friends and I were separate. Like because if you are Malaysian students, you know that form four is the time when you like uh, focus more on your career and what you're gonna do when you grow up. So for myself, I didn't know what I'm gonna be when I grow up. So I choose science stream. But then when I I didn't actually uh, like think about like oh uh, what my friends gonna. Be or like I'm gonna be with my friends or not but I just go with what I think it's good so um, like and then when there's like this pembahagian class of course that you and your friends will be separated and then I went to this 4 science 2 class and let me tell you I don't have any friends that, not not I don't have any friends I have friends that I've been I have talked to before and let me tell you it's not the same like this side suddenly like, it's not the same Kecuali like Desfara, Ni, Aifa and Kairina and Daniel Ami they were my friends from like past class but then there's this boy but this boy wasn't going well with me and then it was it was not comfortable at first but then um I just go with the flow, I just go with what I think I am. It's right. So I just just stay in that class because you can change your class when you think like they give how many weeks? I, I don't remember how many weeks, but then they give you some duration uh, for you to think whether you want to be in that class or not. So um when that that kid that day comes, I just continue in science street and then after that um i literally i literally am not that comfortable in that club because i don't have my friends like in my group like, my group is myself atika iliana and imai but then they were in different classes but atika was the same stream as i am which is uh, one class like the class um beside beside my class and then during that time, I, I wasn't comfortable with the people there because I'm um, like, you know, when I wasn't comfortable. And then uh, there's like one huge problem, which is there's a boy who hated me so much in last year, are in my class. It's in my class. So I wasn't like so like happy with that. And then uh, when that comes and um, I was like oh my god who's gonna be there for me when I need them and like, stuff like that and then um, Atika and I joined like Kawai like, like school, Kokos, activities whatever and then during Kawai I met like a lot of friends like a lot of senior friends because I was glad that time because actually I met like a lot of senior friends. So, uh, apa tu, during Kawat, there was like February, I don't remember like February or March. But then, uh, at the same time, I have like tryouts for Bola Yuri, netball. And then, I just, like, I wasn't in Kawat actually at first. But then, uh, when I was like in try tryouts for netball, for the tournament and then I was chosen I, I wasn't chosen at first but then I, I just like 
went in for Kawe. Anyways, and then uh, it was kind of rough that time, I was busy. But, and then, totally I got chosen for the network because someone was not, not Kita, was not chosen. Like, journey is like kicked out. So, um, like I went into the uh, netball team and like stuff like that. The one that excited me, I literally got like birthday surprise and birthday present. Like, I am thankful for that. So, like, I got like from a friend named Musa. Thank you, Musa. Um, I got like birthday present, but then there was uh, Feroshi chocolates. Both are chocolates, and then I got a birthday card like inside here. Got birthday card, and I am like so damn happy because I got a birthday card. I I am really glad glad that people still give birthday cards to me. And the last time I got was like when I was kind of little also when I was in US so people send me birthday cards and all that I really appreciate I really appreciate people who give birthday cards and then my friend my friends Liana Atika Iman uh, Amira and a few other people I, I don't really I don't really remember but then they did a birthday surprise for me I was it was not on my birthday like the day itself but then I was thankful that they did a birthday surprise for me they know that I was in a really tough situation with my class and like, my life generally but then they decided to birthday party, a birthday surprise and I was like oh my god I love these people because I don't really get birthday surprise or birthday party or birthday present whatever so and then last last week I think I, I don't quite remember I got a birthday present from my cousin so she gave you know what also a card so I was like damn happy and then she gave me a pencil case which I already used for my cushion and then wait a second she gave me this thing okay this thing and it says here happy birthday oh my god uh, literally this is my first time getting this kind of thing like since the day she gave me I always looked at this and I was like oh my god I'm so happy that she gave me this she, this gave me like peace and then I said as I see, I really love people giving birthday cards to me because I can keep them and when I grow up, I can see, see them and read them and I feel I can throw back time like, oh my god, this time I, I, oh my god, I'm so like happy to get birthday cards at the same time I'm so tired to like just talking, talking, talking but then for YouTube, how do anything? So I got birthday cards and then uh, usually like my family during birthday we will only go to like dinner or lunch with the family I have this one freaking boy that always want to find fault with me I don't know why but that's the thing so when it comes to him I feel that it's He's the same class as I am, so I feel so very uncomfortable, and then um, it makes me feel like so dumb because I don't have my friends to actually cover like just be be behind my back when it has when I have problems. They're in different class, so I they, they don't really know like what is going on in my class. But then the all the things and um, then like this the scenario comes. He started, uh, he he started like talking with his friends about me, like, bukan nak perasan ke apa, but then macam that is what I've been observing, and then uh, suddenly like people, uh, the boys in the class started to hate hate me, and I was like, what what did I do? Like when you know when you don't know what did you do, and suddenly people start talking bad about you, and like I rarely talk to that 
one boy from my uh, like last class okay before you guys get confused this one guy is actually my classmate from last year and then he became my classmate for this year also so it was a big scenario and then like after that I was like kind of like my how to say I was like down really down and then uh, I I don't really know the dates by the way it's just like I'm gonna talk through it but and then uh, and then when when we got I got the news about my friends that died whatever I want I don't want to talk about that because it's a sensitive issue and then I was mentally break down actually because I, I don't like to see my my friend like from science my friend I think of, like to be sad I never seen it that sad so I of course I'm gonna be like mentally break down so when she cried I also feel like so sad and then that time like people start bashing it's not bashing lah it's like started to ignore me and like mentally I was mentally bullied like that time so like two things going like one time so I'm like <laughs> sad and then uh, and then I cried in class like literally I cried because I didn't like I didn't so this time my friend Farah was in my class that she's my classmate and then uh, she tried talking to me like what's wrong or whatever and then I was like I was like freaking sad because my friend Vika is like sad and then like like you know when your best friend is sad and you will become sad automatically sad so I was I cried I cried and then like um up to Farah Farah actually like told Atika about my thing because that time Atika were like wasn't in school she didn't actually um she was absent actually uh like f- two weeks and then she doesn't know like what's wrong ever can so I didn't want to interrupt I didn't want to disturb her actually with like the family problems and whatever so uh, I just like keep my problems to myself because I didn't want to tell anybody yet and then Farah told Atika about this prob- my problem and like she Atika actually called, called me I think or messaged me and say what's wrong though. so yeah so basically like that time I was like mentally bullied I and after like how many weeks I tried to go uh, and see the counsellor and the counsellor said that uh, that I literally thought everything out I don't want anything to be like myself I don't want myself to to face all this alone so I actually tried to talk to Imai my friend and then uh, Atika and then the counsellor and the counsellor said okay uh, I will try talking to her uh, to, to him and then it was a relief actually to see a counsellor so if you guys have a problem like problem that you don't think that other people will understand you just go to con- counsellor like I'm not saying that my friends doesn't understand me but then it's Counselor knows best lah So I just went to her and talked to her lor. And then After like one week Suddenly he he became like totally lying I'm afraid that she's gonna <laughs> apa tu? I'm not afraid of him watching this video But then Macam Well you did wrong to me so I'm not afraid of him watching this But then After he became the to a class um, he be, he changed a lot like literally a lot so I was like kind of like puzzled like what's going on and then he became nice he, he okay the relationship with I myself and him I literally I, I don't talk to him like for a while now actually but then he always find fault with me I if I talk he will like, he will be like, 
he will never talk nice to me and then I tried solving problems with him he doesn't want to solve the solve the problems and then like I don't know it was like so confusing I got the news that Atika actually wants to transfer school because she wants to um, teman her mom so I was like again I was mentally break down so when this happens and like I'm the one that is I'm the one who's like them easy to actually mentally break down and sad and cry or whatever so on my brother's birthday my little brother's birthday that time like all my family member wasn't like actually at home so self so, like one to ask I asked my mom did my brother little brother want to do like a birthday not a birthday party but a birthday celebration at this school or something but then my mom said he, he don't know because he did never like every time like a few weeks before his birthday or near to his birthday he will say like oh mama mama uh, can I do a birthday celebration at my school or at home or whatever it depends on him so this time around he doesn't actually want Macam, he, I didn't hear anything from him and then like three days or four days before his birthday suddenly he said mama I want a birthday celebration and I was like boy how many days? It's like how many days to go? And my mom, uh, that time, that weekend, my mom is not home, and it's only my dad, my brother, my little brother, and I. So, I was like, okay, fine. I will go shopping for his stuff, and then during his birthday, we did, and it's okay. And then, if you want to see that video, is it's will be in my description box, okay? Actually, everything went well and then like we have this like teacher and class and like to the patrol day and like one class like one whole class did it together so that that was good that was uh, I started to be happy after all this commotion or whatever I literally mm, tried to talk to him and he literally like tried we tried to solve the problem but I was, I was trying to forget the problem so I was like okay if you don't want to to then just okay fine done and then after a few months and then we uh, we're going to take the like, end of the year exam and then um, after that but yeah and then we I started to not come to school because end of the year who comes to school like there's nothing to do Next week, I'm going for a holiday. Yay! So, don't forget to like stay tuned for any videos or whatever. So, don't forget to subscribe and apa tu? Uh, click the the bell thingy like down below so that you are notified that my videos are published. So, so far, okay. The conclusion for my 2017 story is it's sad, it's emotionally emotion I have a lot of emotion this year, like literally. And then it's just at the same time it's happy. I'm happy with my friends. I'm happy to have them, especially these four uh, people in my life and I'm so glad that I have more friends but yeah after, uh, after the uh, like not comfortable situation I literally like friend with all of them in the class like lucky like literally I feel grateful because as I said God knows more than you do and you can plan all you want but God who actually bless I say God actually make it come true so if you have like trouble or whatever just go with the flow and that's all don't forget to like and subscribe and inshallah we'll see you next time I will see you next time so bye bye